Hi everyone and welcome to my sewing room. Today I thought we would go back into PE and design software. We haven't done that for a little while and I thought it would be fun just to do a little Halloween project. So don't go away. Okay, so I have my PE Design 11 open up and I have my workspace set to the 9.5 by 14 because that's my largest hoop. And what I want to do is I want to make a quick and easy pillow that I can put on my couch during Halloween. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make a big moon and that's easy to do. So we're going to go up here and we're going to choose a circle. Now remember if you hold the shift key down, at the same time that you're pulling, so I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to left click and drag. See, I get a perfect circle. I don't get an oval. So now I have my circle and what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this so that it says not sewn. So I just have a circle and then I'm going to come over, I'm going to go home and click on the applique wizard. And it's, it basically says, yes, you want to tack down. Yes, you want um, a V stitch, which is going to sew it down. And then this is going to be the zigzag stitch right here. Um, I'm going to make it just a little bit wider, 14 instead of 12 and leave the density the way it is. And then this last part says replace, which means I don't want another applique satin stitch around the outside of that. And then I'm gonna say, okay. And now I've got the three steps for an applique. And uh, the only thing I'm, I'm gonna click off of it so these aren't blue anymore. So they're not all selected. And I'm gonna just select the last one and let's change the color. We're gonna go over here, see where it says sewing and color. We're going to hit color and you'll notice that it just because it's an applique, it only gives you applique here. But if I click here, it'll change it over to the thread chart so I can push brother embroidery. And then let's do, I want kind of like a golden yellow there. So over here, I still have the applique colors and the cut color and I could bring this into my scanning cut and cut that out too. Um, but I have the applique uh, yellow for my moon, which is what I'm going to do. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in some of the shapes that brother gives me. So I'm going to push import patterns and I'm just going to say from design library. So this pops open here. And then if I come over here where it says design library if i click the down arrow i have one in here that says outline shapes and the, in under outline shapes i have basic shapes fashion floral um foods all sorts of different things so there's one that's called animals and if i come up here here's there's actually two bats i like this one better so i'm going to import that one and he comes in really tiny, but all I have to do is just click on the corner and pull. And that makes a nice big bat. And then I'm going to push control D and then that made two bats and then use the little circle that's up here that will allow you to rotate it. So now that's, those are rotated and I could um, just embroider these out as a, as a shape. I could change the fill if I wanted to. All I have to do is come up here to the shape shapes menu, click on it, choose the fill stitches, and I could put anything I wanted in here. I could put a program fill, which could be kind of fun. If I, if I do program fill, sewing attributes, come down here. Here's my file that has programmable fill click on it 
and then choose something that's got a little bit of flair to it. Oh, let's see. Well, let's see what this one would look like. Say, okay. Then I'm going to go home and I'm going to use my zoom button and here's let's zoom in really close. That's kind of a fun fill, isn't it? Let's see. I like that one too. But anyway, just so you can see. Oh, and another thing I could do, I'm going to go up here to shapes and I'm going to click this and I'm going to make a motif fill. I could do something like that, which would be kind of fun to do, especially if you did it with like a, a sparkly black fat, uh, thread or something like that. Um, but I think what I want to do instead is I want to say, don't sew this and then let's go home and zoom all and come back over here and get my select tool and select this one and say don't sew. And I'm going to make those into appliques too. So we're going to go home and then we're going to do applique wizard. Okay. And here's this bat. Applique wizard. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click off of it because these are selected. So I want to click over here so nothing's selected. And then I'm going to take this bat and drag them up to this bat and this one and drag them up to this one. And you'll notice as soon as you put the same colors together, there's a little minus and plus here. If you hit the plus sign, it'll put them together. So we just put the two bats together, the two bats together, and the two bats together. So that way it'll sew them at the same time. And then the only one I have to change the color for is this one, the very last one. And I'm going to push color, brother embroidery, and black. So that last step is black. Um, so now I'm going to do the same thing all over again. So I'm going to hit, um, Oh, I guess I need to go over here. Import patterns from design library. There's probably a shorter way to do this, but I know it works this way. We're going to do outline shapes. And here's a kitty cat right here. And I'm going to import that. And then let's just make, let's make this kitty cat nice and big. I'm put him right here at the bottom of my hoop. And let's turn him into an applique. And he's going to be down here on the bottom. Let's select that color. Actually, I have a shortcut down here. See the way I have my colors? I can just click black there and it'll turn black. So there. Now I've made a moon, I've made two bats, and I've made a kitty cat. So then I'm going to put in some words here. So I'm going to write in text. click on the screen. I have a blank spot over here now. So I'm going to type on my type on my keyboard. When witches go flying and I'm just going to push enter. I actually like to do it this way instead because that way I can click on it and move it wherever I want to move it.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus sign here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit better so I can get my mouse on top of there. So you want that little white cross to appear so that you can left click and drag like that. Now I'm going to come back up here to the text one, click on that again, and I'm going to write and black cats are seen, enter, oops, how did I do that? See the way I spelt that wrong? I'm going to come over here where this is, I'm going to push click left click right there next to the E and hit backspace and D. So I fixed that and then I'm push enter again. Now we're going to do it again. Click right here. The moon laughs and whispers. Enter. I think I'm going to drag this down just a little bit. So what if I decided that that's too long for where I want to put it? So what I want to do is come over here again. I'm going to click right there next to the word and, and I'm going to push control enter. And that will bring it down to another row here. And then while it's still there, I need to select this one right here that says alignment. That, come on. It just moved it to the center. I'm going to rest my mouse right here and drag this back over here. See the way it lined it up better? Like that? Okay. So now let's do it one more time. I got one more line I want to write on here. I'm going to click right here. Tis near H A. I'm the worst speller in the whole world. Tis near Halloween. I'm going to move this over here. So I want to show you something that you can do here. Let's bring this down a little bit further. Okay. So if I click on this word that I wrote, tis near Halloween, you'll notice that you get all these little diamonds across the top. That allows me to change anything I want to. I could just click on this diamond for the H and just change the H if I wanted to. But I think what I want to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and I'm going to click. So now just the word Halloween is selected all the way across. If I rest my mouse on this last diamond, I get the A with the arrows going different directions. That means I can change the size of just this one word. See the way just that one changed? Now I could come up here to text, click the down arrow, and so, wait a minute. See right here, this is my font filter. If I click this font filter settings, it opens a box. And I can tell all I want to see is script. I don't want to see the block or the decorative or the, or the gothic or the serif. If I want to see all of them, I need to click them all. But if I only want to see um, just block, which I might just only want to see block because I want something big and fat. And I can say I only want to see the defined fonts, not the true type fonts, but I want to see everything. So I'm just going to say OK. And then when I click this, it's only going to show me those fonts. So I don't have to scroll through everything, see things I'm not interested in. Um, something that looks like it would be a fun Halloween one.
I don't know. Let's try this one. I don't like that one. I like that one. It's nice and fat and and um, kind of Halloween-y. I am going to change this because it's so big to a fill. So I'm going to come up here where it says satin stitch, click on it, and make it a fill stitch. And now that it's a fill stitch, let's go ahead and put a zigzag stitch around it. And let's make that color orange. And then I'm going to zoom all and see if I like that. I think, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I, I could go back in here and do the exact same thing I did with Halloween with the word witches and the word cats. Maybe I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. Um, but you've kind of seen exactly what I'm trying to do. And now, uh, you know what would be really fun is I have some of that glitter vinyl that they sell. Um, OESD has some, and so does um, Kimberbell. But there's some really glittery kind of fabrics that you could put in there to, for the applique. So I think I'm going to try that. And I'm going to embroider this out um, on some orange fabric to make the pillow. And then I'll show you what I ended up with. Okay, so I uh, finished embroidering that out. I have to tell you, I've been in a little bit of a pillow making frenzy. And most of my children have pillows on their beds now that have to do with Halloween. Um, or their couches, I guess is what I meant. Um, but I made this one here. Isn't that cute? It says ho, ho, ho. And it's got uh, Santa Claus on the front of it. And this is like a black um, velour that's on here. And then it's got this really cute... Uh, Santa Claus fabric on it here and then I made this one here that says cookie baking crew and it's got cookies on it so that one was really fun and I'm going to make this one into a pillow too I just haven't had a chance to do it all yet um, there's so many other things um, but I really like the way it came out isn't that cute it's really a fun um, embroidery design I put velvet right here where the kitty cat was and I did use that sparkle um it's like an embroidery sparkle stuff that's made by Kimber Bell. That's really fun, and you can embroider it on there, and it washes and everything. So that's that's really good. So I thought the way it came it came out really good. I have a confession to make. The letters are really tiny, and when you're doing um, digitizing your own, be very careful that you don't get too tiny in your letters. If they get under 0.05, you're supposed to switch to the smaller mini letters, and I didn't do that. But actually. Um, I had black bobbin thread and black on the top and so it did come out really good but a couple times the thread broke and I had to start again um, and uh, the witches one up here on top I had to if you look at it um, you might have noticed when I was doing the actual digitizing on it that I spelt the word win wrong I forgot to put the end I had to go in and fix it but it wasn't too late for me to go ahead and and make it work in on the pillow so this will come out to be a really cute pillow once I get it already stuffed and everything and um, fast 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 I didn't even have to do any kind of editing in that that's real time the whole time I'm using the digitizing software so you can see how fast it is for you to whip something up if you need a gift for a party that you're going to or something I hope the little bit that you saw on the software taught you another technique in your software. And I hope you had fun looking at my pillows. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.